London Highway. Close the vehicles to support social distancing. Why don't they open it up when there's nobody about? Okay, it's about quarter past, twenty past ten, Tuesday evening. It's about the sixteenth of August, sixteenth or seventeenth. Streets are pretty empty, but um, you right, bruv? You safe? You safe and well? Yeah. Don't take the vaccine. No vaccine. <laughs> everybody knows. Everybody knows. Absolutely everybody. This is just a little update just to show what's going on in my town of Taunton. No masks. Pubs are open. Uh, I'm not gloating or anything because the first thing that comes into my mind are my friends in Australia, under lockdown, military lockdown by the police, friends in America, friends in New Zealand, they're all under house arrest, all getting bad advice. Now it pops in. This pub I'm coming up to. This one down here. Put in there. This is the longest pub in Great Britain from front to back. The Hurricane Warbeck. It's open to Witherspoons. I've chatted with about poof. Well over a well over a dozen people. It's busy. People are having fun. There's no social distancing going on. Um, it's a nice building there. Breaking more about longest pub in Great Britain. I just spoke with a chat in here. That's how far away the back is. I'm not going to film anybody, but it's busy in there. There's about, there's over a hundred people in there. I, like I say, I'd have probably spoke with about, oh, between, well, around about, I don't know, 16, 18. 20. Um, I spoke with one chap who was just informed me that the government know exactly what's going on. He works for a, let's say, let's call it, well, what it was, a conspiracy theorist investigation team. And it does exist. Currently, the government do know what's going on. They are bought and paid for. And they all know what's happening. Everyone, even, you know, that was just one chat that worked for this organization. I'm just walking home now. But, um,. Like I say, I don't know how what how things would be if we had a military lockdown here, if we were barred from going out under threat of being shot. 
up, things would obviously be different. I would probably be dead. Or living in a cage. An Asda. But, um... people need really is it's getting quite late they're giving themselves a year to get to a point where they can implement agenda 21 because I don't think they're going to be waiting until the end of 2021 I would imagine it to be January the 1st, really. I bet they're itching to pull the trigger. Literally itching. Like kids waiting for fake Santa to come down the chimney. Honestly, that is the way they are. It'll be a date. We know it'll be a date. A numbers game. January the first, twenty twenty one. Zero one zero one two two one. One one two one. No, is it? That's one one two two one. One one two two one. Three ones. And a four, seven. First of January, twenty twenty-one. Anyway, who knows? Who knows? But that. And I don't think it's going to be something that's trickling around the world, dragged out. It's going to be like this. This illness was. It was bang. There you go. Even those that have been studying this for decades did not expect it to be so quick. Bang! And then uh, there it was. 5G, probably. Vaccine, probably. Combined with starvation. Um, Toxic water supply, they, they're all in it together, all the big utility companies, the massive corporate supermarkets, there's only a few of them. People begging, they'll be begging. Or well, no, they will. Most people will be begging. Now, there's something called, I haven't set it up yet, but there's something that I've been promoting, it's called Chess Club. Now, if you play chess, if you play, even play drafts, if you play risk, if you play even poker or anything, a strategy game. I say chess because it's probably the ultimate strategy game. Um, and it basically explains society as it is. Sacrificial pawns, protecting the church, the military, the monarchy. Um, I guess the establishment really. We'll call it the establishment. Every country now in the world has been conquered. Africa, I'm not sure about Africa. I'm not sure about Africa. It's probably one of the most difficult places to uh, conquer. For a number of reasons. Which is quite possibly why the 
Gates Alliance. I've been so prolific in this program of what should we call it? Jabbing, sterilizing, um, just weakening the population. Now, there are, we'll say, 7 billion people on Earth. They've got to get rid of 6.5 billion. And I've got a feeling it's something to do with bloodlines and the preservation of bloodlines and the eradication of anything other than the bloodline. I'll, I'll do a little insert possibly here. In fact, I'll do a little insert here to explain my <coughs> theory on how they're going to pick and choose the six and a half million people they've got to exterminate so they can keep their little inbreeding program going the secret is is the blood it's not the secret it's the thing the DNA and the blood I'm sure of it I'm sure of it 85% of the global or well I can't believe I can't believe I just said that 85% of the world population is rhesus positive that's not a bloodline a blue bloodline call it what you want that's your common Porn. So 85%, I worked it out earlier on, so I might not need the insert. 85% of 7 billion, I th from memory it was 590 million, uh, billion, uh, 5.9 billion. It left about 1.05 billion people if they got rid of all the rhesus positives. And the elite's bloodline as I understand it at this point is rhesus negative so 15% of 70 billion or 7 billion I worked it out is 5.9 billion so they can get uh, at least 1 billion so there's one, bi 1 and a bit billion blue bloodlines rhesus negatives left on earth I'm one but uh, I don't think they'll be keeping me. Probably keep me alive for draining. Blood, blood wise. And they've got to get it down to half a billion people. Who are those half a billion people going to be? Who is it going to be? There's going to be servants. There's going to be masters. Freemasons, well, I'm not sure whether they test the blood type in Freemasonry. But um, I imagine if you're sort of in that loop, all your details will be known. But there's going to, be, there's going to need to be serv serv servants slaves so that's half a billion slaves they need or half a billion that are like me rhesus negative or and of the common of the commoner not a paedophile Not into keeping secrets that can enlighten 
mankind, if it were of any value. Not to think I'm better than anybody else. And then who also fights on the side of the Christ. The true Christ. So... Five hundred million people. They've got to keep. Do the math. The old folk, well, I didn't get rid of them. Easy enough. Homeless, they disappear. Unemployed, they disappear. Kids, well, that's who they're after. Parents, they'll disappear because they're after the kids. This is what will happen. Unless we stop it. Stop it. Chess club. Strategizers. Set up, a, set up something called a chess club. It's just, it, you, you need a hub. You need a hub. Otherwise it's going to be neighbour versus neighbour. That's the way it's going to be. Chess club. Anything, whatever you think. But, um... You know, it's it's getting strategists and and people that know the truth together. Well, we got the chance. Yeah, I think I'll end it here. My stuff. Yeah. God bless everyone. Please, 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 don't give up. Don't give up. Government know everything. They are paid. They are bought and paid for. Seriously. <laughs>